The Velvet Room presents After Dark. Hello. All right. Thank you. 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 Um, go ride on the boat for a new business. I'm sorry. <laughs> Some follow up that is just thinking something going on on the boat. So follow up on that. Miss <laughs> Rose, did you get a sixth position yet? <laughs> well, I let this dude um, dim me up like a pretzel. He still didn't. Like the right spot, so it wasn't a good weekend. Like the right I learned, so man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I learned. So I give him another try. But are you going to direct him? Doing no teaching, but I he can experiment. <laughs> no, he's forty six, seven years old. You know, he got oh, five no. kids on a possible. Body's he's supposed to know where the corner's at. Look. Well, the more the better. Ain't that's not great. He's gonna tell, I ain't gonna tell him he can't try. How about that? I ain't, <laughs> ain't that's all right. You know, all right. Last one I taught is giving somebody else that good work. So what? I ain't teaching nobody else nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. That is wrong. That is, <laughs> that is wrong. <laughs> you went to buy it. That is right. right. And you got to direct it. This man is. Uh, that's right. Expect y'all to be psychic. Okay. I mean, if it was a cougar episode, it would be different. <laughs> right, right. Then you got to, you know, show them a little bit of the expertise. So. But we're not doing that teaching the grown folks not. They supposed to know. They supposed to come already prepared. Don't come for the get down if you can't get down. <laughs> if he doesn't get it right, what do you do? Dismissed. Put it in grade. So if, uh, I can, so if you don't get it right, I, 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 I know me better than anybody. So <laughs> you can leave me out there, sir. Do <laughs> if y'all ain't sucking or fucking right. <laughs> I think we're at this age too. Ain't a whole lot of teaching yeah. Exactly. 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 Right. Right. Don't come get in the game if you don't know how to play. That's it. Right. Exactly. And even then, I had to keep doing it till I knew how to do it. So. <laughs> It, there's nothing worse than getting head from somebody who has no idea what they're doing. Exactly. Look, that, say it again. Right? Talk, like they know they well, doing that. Was exactly. That's yeah. the worst one. When they got a yeah. whole mouth about it and, you know, no game. It's great garbage. <laughs> yeah, garbage. Exactly. Garbage. I hate reminding people the old no teeth thing. Like, that's not a, it's not a nipple. It's not a nipple spot. <laughs> That's a big given. I'm like, you know, we've been trained all our life. I don't know why women try to act like they don't know what they're doing. Uh, you've been trained all your life. They gave you that sugar daddy. They gave you that. <laughs> they gave you that blow pop. They gave you. A, they gave. They gave that little rainbow pop. They gave you all this stuff. <laughs> pretty, pretty sure most most people had a popsicle, right? <laughs> Right there, oh, rainbow poppy. That was the piece right there, right? That's it. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's get some news in here, right? Now. Some funny news. 
Entertainment News. So everybody get your um, throw up bag ready because this is, <laughs> this is what I when I heard this I was mind boggled. So this lady, I guess she has um, a husband and a boyfriend, right? And they don't know anything about each other. So she's actually she, uh, she goes, I don't know what y'all talking. About. Yeah. So the, <laughs> the husband leaves the house, right? The husband leaves the house. Um, and then she sneaks her boyfriend in. Boyfriend comes in, he gets to doing a thing, you know, ejaculates all inside her. You know what I mean? She gets, she actually uh, ejaculates all inside her. And um, all of a sudden, the, the husband comes back home right now. So he has to rush out of there. And, uh, you know, she didn't get a chance to go shower or nothing like that. So when the husband gets back home, he wants to have to do some freaky stuff. So she lets him eat her out. No. And the husband is speaking his tongue all up inside her. He's like, oh my goodness, you taste so good. Oh my <laughs> just God. really do I taste good? Just lets him eat all his nut buns. And he was like, I've never tasted your coochie before. And it, it tastes so good. And what are you doing to your coochie? Nothing. <laughs> Same old thing. No. She, nobody business. And she starts bragging to her girlfriend about how the husband ate the boyfriend's nut all out of her birthday and she was happy about it. I got my throw, like I had a have to throw it back. And I just thought about it. I was like, damn, I can't trust nobody nowadays. It's a damn shame. Oh my God. That's horrible. That's trifling. That is horrible. Wait, 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 I, want, I, want, I want y'all to notice something. All three of y'all faces were fine. Even his face is like, God damn. No, 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 no. That, that is horrible. That is horrible. That's like, uh, horrible. You can't I, even get mad if you read about her on the news. That's how horrible that was. Right. My thing. Yo. You have what? to take a shower before anything goes down. Okay. Crazy. Yeah. I plead the fifth. She could have had like she could <laughs> the bathroom and go in the bathroom. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> I don't care what I said. Yeah. I'll tell you about it later. Tisha, I'll tell you. Uh-huh. Mm-mm-mm. That's a damn shame, bro. <laughs> No, we gonna have to we gonna have to watch a good view before we do anything. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It was even me, and I feel like I need Listerine right now. So disgusting. All right, got these quickies now. Yes, with the quickie. Y'all, I'm Chrissy and Quickies. Hey, y'all. quick question: What is something you have been hesitant to try sexually, but end up loving in the end? I'm not even gonna start and act like I've been hesitant about anything. <laughs> because of the, the Me Too movement. I will say, I will say the initial thought of anal like freaked me out. And I was, but I was like, oh, half of you married now. You you know, this is it. That's what he want. Go ahead and give it to him. But, <laughs> but other than that, I've never been freaked out. I, I'll try anything once. I'm a trisexual. I will say that. I'm a trisexual. <laughs> I will try anything once. If I don't like it, I just won't try it again. <laughs> okay. I feel you on that. <laughs> I think with me, it came down to, I had a, for years, I was like hesitant to get into this choking thing. Like chicks are, for some reason, are into being choked. And yeah. it took me a while. It took yeah. me a while to get used to that, yo. I'm, we're part of the Me Too movement. I ain't trying to get arrested, but now. <laughs> yes, that, 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 
firm grip around her neck, that's that's gonna heighten it up a little bit. Yup. Yeah. Yeah, I'm for it. Bro. I am for it. Hands. <laughs> <laughs> I am it. all for it. Absolutely. I, I did it all of a sudden, her neck was snapped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, was I supposed to choke you from the side? Do I choke you crawling? You're like, yeah, how do I do this? And if I start I'll feeling too good. <laughs> look, just hold it. As long as I'm smiling and still moving, keep going. Okay. See, look. <laughs> you, probably be, you will be smiling or moving. <laughs> <laughs> Bobblehead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For me, I uh, here's my back. You better stop. <laughs> first, um, first time I ever made a girl squirt. First time I ever made a girl squirt. It was, it was actually weird, to me. but then I just got like a big fetish for that. But now I like go for that kind of. It's, it's, I need like I like to go on my face and be sprayed on my face, all of my body, everywhere. I love that. So that you need a rain jacket. No, I, 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 <laughs> I want it. I want it all on. I want it all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say wax play. Um, that's something I tried. I was scared to try, and when I tried it, it was something that I end up actually liking. It's like a relaxing, soothing, gets you ready to relax your body out. Like, oh god, yeah. Like Did that hot though? Did that burn? Yeah, no. Actually, if you have the right person to do it. It does not burn, and then when they take that knife to scrape the rest of the wax off, it's like a turn-on sensation. Like you'd be like, "Oh wow, what's that?" <laughs> I like that. I like that. Something to check it, you know. Something to take it to consider. I may do some research on oh, that one. On do some research. On it. Yeah, they they they've even created the. Um, burning candles out of soy, so you don't have to scrape the wax off. You get the same hot sensation out of the soy candle, and you rub it in. It's like massage oil after it, so no scrape. Yeah. <laughs> but it's nothing like that wetness coming out of the vagina. All over your feet. <laughs> the taste of it. <laughs> Yeah, just see, you can't say taste like that after this last conversation we just had. Now I'm a little. Uh, <laughs> out there. I was with a good mood. <laughs> wow. Okay, sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Oh. Next question Do you prefer role playing? Oh, I love role playing. I, girl, I love that. I love that. I will meet you out somewhere. And act yeah, like I need I'm an familiar. Academy Award. Hey, <laughs> let you pick it up. Think you 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 scored for tonight. Look, okay. <laughs> I think it's the thrill, right? Yes, it is. I'm a cheerleader, a prostitute, hello, a nurse, hello. A nurse the a, school teacher, the angel, first lady devil. of the first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All of that. Hey, hey. Get an A student. The Catholic school girl. <laughs> yes. Yes. The Catholic school girl. That's a good one. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm very excited about that role play. <laughs> I'm sitting there I'm processing all of it right now. Because <laughs> there's one thing I can't do, one thing I can't be part of, and this is going to sound very, I can't be into the. If you ever call me daddy, I go away. Yeah, the whole thing just I can't do it. Yeah, this is gross to me. <laughs> you know what? Call me anything other than daddy. I, I uh. absolutely have an issue with that myself. But since this daddy thing came out, right? <laughs> what the hell? Is that zaddy thing, you might I might give a little oh, bit of that. If you actually no. call you daddy, I'm not calling you daddy. I'm gonna call you zaddy. Not doing no daddy. I'm mm, I don't have daddy issues. I don't need to. You know, be compensated. Yeah, I don't have daddy issues. Though. Yeah, I don't have daddy issues. I don't I'm, need to be compensated. Hey, hello. Issues. So you call me daddy, goddammit. No. <laughs> no. Fact, listen, you're going to do it anyway. Le no. <laughs> listen, let me tell you, you not know people. Look, it's some folks mad at me right now because I wouldn't no. say it was theirs. They're going to be mad for the rest of their life because you asked me who did it. It's mine. 
I ain't never had a hit like that. It's yeah. mine. All day, all night. And if you be nice, you'll still get it. Uh, <laughs> that part. No. <laughs> well, uh, I'm the other way around because they be jealous. Not you. You got a name and everything. <laughs> evil. I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm just talking to my dick. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Oh, you have to like oh. well, so, um, <laughs> so, freaky sex. Um, yeah. So, the topic of our night is freaky sex or passionate sex. Which do you prefer? Oh. <laughs> I'm I'm with you on that. I'm with you on the both. I say both. I, I'm gonna say both because I think you can have both at the same time. You know what, bro? This bro is passionate about where you having your freaky sex at. It is the freaky sex coming out. What? for me, that kind of depends on the audience. Some and that's why I said you. Hey, yeah, we talking. Yeah. <laughs> you can be passionate about where you have in your freaky sex at. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank that you. location Thank is everything. You. Location, location, and audience is everything. Right, yeah. Hold on. Freaky sex. It's a freaky sex or passionate sex. It depends. What do you yeah, call? I, I, I like them together. I like them together. Let's. <laughs> Let's do the extra. What do you consider passionate? I um, I think passionate is just like the way you're going at it. You know, you can have passionate kisses in the middle of a freaky scene on a balcony in front of twenty people. You know, you can have them both together. What do you consider freaky then? I can. Uh, I don't know because when you get used to anything applies. Not a whole and lot. I was, I was waiting for you to try to separate me. <laughs> you have to separate me because or. You know, very very that's, in, that's in there. The right, right, I right, right. That is if somebody walk in with some Maybe stuff and ready to tie you up and have you, you know, bound up and stuff like that. That's what I think Freaky says is passionate. Oh, above and beyond like, the military. Um, Oh no, I don't know. I think that's that's I'm that's about my BDSM. Hello. 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 Absolutely. 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 I'm passionate I'm about that hand around my neck. I'm passionate about that. You <laughs> Say it. Say it. <laughs> that, yes. That I'm hand so around the neck, that flogger, <laughs> that little, mm, that yeah, little, like little strap you tied me up with. Yes. Be passionate about it. You're going to do it. Hey, go this all the way. Be for people that all of it. Get, like, uh, all of it. Yes. All of it. Too. Bring your A game and like your bag. Because I want all we'll, the trips. We'll, we'll kiss a little bit in look, between somewhere and there. Look, Make like you say, it. look, I want my sex like you bought your car. Fully loaded. <laughs> well, you know, my, I bought an old car. Holy! No, but you have an upgrade. Break that in. Upgrade. <laughs> I want like, all the bells and whistles. <laughs> Cadillac, man. It, 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 big, oh. long. And, 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 I got me a Cadillac, too. Ain't nothing wrong with having a Cadillac. Get you a Cadillac and, a, and, and, so, and get you, and get you something. Get you bells and whistles. You can put that straw in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I would think you just have to. You have, I don't know what y'all would think, but you have to come up with what freaky is and what passionate is, and then separate that, and then you can put that together. Because if you got both, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. so, I think you have to one for the other. other. So I, I don't know. I don't think you have to forfeit one for the other. I didn't, I didn't say you have to. I'm just saying, like, in order to differentiate your freaky and your passionate, y'all said everything y'all do is freaky and passionate. So I, I, I don't know. I mean, no, I don't know. No, I didn't say that. I said that everything you're passionate about. I said, I'm passionate about my freak. 
Just bring your passionate game to your freak session. That's all. But how do you do that when you don't know the difference between passionate and freak? You absolutely can. Listen Somebody to me. Okay, so there. all right, a regular kid. That's a regular kid. So uh, uh, a regular, um, a passionate kiss, you kissing, you hugging, you feeling, you, you, you know, you into it. You can have that on a balcony with twenty people watching. That's free. You, you can have them both. You can have it both. You can have it all. You know what I think it is. I think, I think people, I think people think when they hear the word passion that love is involved. There you go. Some Absolutely. people can only have what they consider passion, passionate love making if they have some kind of feelings for the person. Whereas it's just a mindset that if you're a freak, you can be freak with anybody. But that's not necessarily true because the more right. you like the person, the, the more freaky you going to be. Do, there you go. You know, if I like right. the person, then yeah, we, we can be Yeah. Right, right, and right. it's not exactly. even necessarily uh, romantic. Like it's more like I, I really like this dude. He's gonna get all this work. Nobody find that spot on Miss Rose because you freak as shit. Wrong? <laughs> I'm wrong with this time. <laughs> right? No, seriously, that's 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 right. You wrote. That's exactly <laughs> what they confused it with. Uh, dangerous as hell in 2022. <laughs> First of all, I'm a and, 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 and again and again and again. I just got look. I just got uh, reborn. We went over this last week and again. Random people. Got reborn again and again. And, and again and again. Oh, you gotta keep telling. Are you still? Are you still again, again. Was last week? Uh, I repeat. Are you still? You then, about it. Sometimes I backslide, but that's all right. All is forgiven. I just, I'm just trying to figure out what a passionate choke. Oh, it's a bitch. Right. I'll be like that. I'm trying to think. Let's see though. Like Since y'all keep going by the balcony, mentioning balcony, I was recently on a balcony with someone. We were. Hey. Pretty, we were getting pretty passionate, and um, then some person that's just in the neighborhood just walked by and said hello to us in the middle of it kind of and, and you should have said hello and kept on going yeah I did. Yeah, 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 there, there you go so you had your passion mixed with your freaky with freaky, there you go. Okay. a little voyeurism which is a fetish along with your passionate intimate okay. session yeah there you yeah. go do walk right up to us and look us in the face. I was just like, um, I was just like, what am I supposed to say right now? <laughs> That's when you give me a five profile and your best stroke. Hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not sharing. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I should have gave him a high five or what. Oh, my gosh. I got I to I look at what that is. Y'all got passionate jokes. Passionate yeah, I gotta find out. Are you fucking? I don't know. <laughs> I gotta figure that out. How do we passionately choke someone? I'm gonna work on that one. Well, ask them three. Ask them three. You <laughs> absolutely can passionately choke someone. You sure can. Can, can somebody give me a demonstration of a passionate choke? Y'all wanna see how the hand plays? No, no, no. All right, all right, all right. Just a picture it this way. Picture it this way. You in it, you giving it that slow, long stroke, and you reach up and grab that neck. Just keep on with the slow, like long stroke. Like this, a little like extra this. thrust at the end. Boom. There you got it. Here it is. Hey, hey, right here. Here. Hello. Yeah, you got it. That's right. Okay. okay. Get it up and hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Look. They, got they got their own dictionary. They got their own dictionary. Their version gonna have us locked up. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I told you, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. No, you got the like this. Right there. Okay. All the way up in there. Hold it. So oh. the further up you go, the more back. Hold it up. Hold it up. Yeah. Hold that head up. Tell her, look at me. Look at me, damn it. Because you just throwing your head up. That's choking the crap out of me. Yeah. <laughs>
dirty little secret. Juicy detail. Lust. 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 Confessions. All right, so I'm. I just went. Ooh, I just did. I just gave one. Lust. Lust. Confessions. That's right. Get it, Charlie. Oh, less confessions. Today we got a fire. <laughs> it's, it's funny to be crazy. Whoever he is, he crazy. He said, okay, so boom. Yes, he wrote. Oh, so boom. Um, I'm a firefighter for a county I won't name in Maryland. Well, one night, one of my local freaks wanted to get it in at this firehouse. So, of course, I had to oblige. So we sex with all precautions, so Con so I use a condom. He said, I, we climbed in the fire engine and got it in. He said, I'm talking sweaty, hair pulling, lip biting, fogging up the window, everything. And soon as I bust, I mean, as soon as I release, the sirens in the firehouse went off. So <laughs> I jumped, I jumped up with the condom still on. So I threw my pants and while she jumped out of the engine and went hid on the side to be said, he said, I don't have time to put my that's the guessing. I put it on and I feel the <laughs> I can still feel the feel the condom on my on his jump. So they riding to wherever they going and he says I'm trying to what you call it. I'm trying to make it short. It says um, he can feel his jump shrinking because you know he already <laughs> bust, but he still got the condom on. He didn't put underwear on, but he had the pants on. So when they get when he gets out of the engine, when they get out of the engine, he feels it come off. <laughs> He feels the condom slide off his junk and slide down his leg, down the pants. Oh, so, my. It's this, it's this dude right here. He said, so, at first, I was like, cool, because the pants will catch it, so I don't have to worry about it falling out and somebody seeing it. So, we went into the lady's house, and uh, it turned out not to be an emergency. He said... But the whole time I'm in here thinking that, man, please don't let this condom fall off in this lady's house. So <laughs> we go outside. We don't have to get to the hospital. We go outside. And as we're walking back to the truck, my coworker sees the condom in the parking lot. <laughs> he oh, said, oh. And we, he's so stupid. We turn to look at each We all turn to look at each other. And I say, damn, somebody had a mighty good time in this parking lot. We laugh about <laughs> it and we go back home. He said, I told my freak about it later. And she laughed at me from <laughs> from then till we stopped seeing each other a couple years later. Wow. I, like <laughs> I don't know who he is, but I like him. <laughs> he played that off sweet. I also like him sex in firehouse. That sounds good though. I ain't never did that one before. I'm trying to add that to my bucket list. You're gonna be a firefighter. <laughs> I'm trying to add that to my bucket list. Right. Yeah, you're gonna be a firefighter. Right. Yeah, I need me a firefighter. I need a firefighter yeah. experience. <laughs> you're be a passionate experience. It's going to be a passionate. Firefighter might make me backslide. <laughs> <laughs> slide down a pole. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We, it, we go to the firehouse in the fire engine. Shoot. Yeah. Put that so on my bucket list. So you get that done this week and then we'll talk about it next weekend. I mean, next, yeah, next weekend. It ain't going to get done that quick. I got to find I got to yeah. figure some things out. I got to find me a fireman so first. I'm going to make that a mission. It'll take a week. <laughs> All right, y'all. 
that, that ends this this ends the session for today. <laughs> it was very passionate talking to all of you. <laughs> <laughs> it was very passionate. We were while we were having this freaky conversation. Right. So we'll start with Ms. Rose. We can, oh, I guess we'll start with you because we I guess we we'll start with Ms. Rose again. <laughs> where, where can we find you? What, what's your email address smell like? Uh, f- uh, follow me on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash Charlie Rose. I mean, Charlie Writes. That's C H A R L Y E W R I T S. I have a lot of fun stories up there, and both of my books, the links to both of my books are on that page. <laughs> Who's and I, I, I'm going to say that I've read both of those books and definitely spend the money. It, you'll stuff. never forget it. One was not to put down at all. I read from cover to cover. Um, and I'm Keisha. You can find me on TikTok at Thick Mrs. 50. All right. And next, Ms. Rose. Hey, y'all can find me on Twitter at Chrissy Poo 88 underscore 23 and on Instagram at Chrissy Poo 8823. Wonderful. Hey, G, what's good? Hey, man, you can find me pretty much always on the book at uh, Facebook.com backslash Anthony. I'm also on my own website, A-plus-E-N-T-group.com. AG and Sense, new podcast coming out soon. Details on the website. All right. And me, if you want to see your uh, Omega Alpha, you go to YouTube and type in S A V A G E C O L. E N T stands for Savage Code of Men and the Entertainment We Bring. Check this out. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. This was another episode of Velvet After Dark. I will see y'all next weekend with all the fire. Um, you know, stories that y'all have. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I have some updates for you. <laughs> Maybe you should know what the difference between passionate and freaky is next time. Well, they the same thing. They can they can be together. They can be together. <laughs> Maybe. All right, y'all. Have a good night. Y'all All right. Good. See ya. Well, hello there. Oh, hello. The Velvet Room presents after dark.